Virgo, I will now be laying out some more cards for you for love and then for career, um, money, creative pursuits uh, to see what could be happening in those areas. So let's first start off with your love. Virgo love, shuffle on camera a little bit as well. Okay, you've got the sun in your love sector and it came up in the general reading. Okay, the magician, sun and magician is definitely a strong Aries. It's come up three times for you, so that's quite interesting, Virgo. Um, okay, look, let's, uh, let's, let's really look into this. I feel like the sun is coming in and shining light on your relationships first and foremost. That's absolutely fantastic because the sun is the start of something new, but it's almost like you might be working on yourself in a relationship, Virgo. I definitely feel like you're shining light on a lot of your best qualities, maybe also on the qualities you need to work on, but there might be some sort of experience or circumstance and it could even be your partner or someone around you points something out about you. Now, it could be a bad thing, could be a good thing, might be something you need to work on. It might be something, you know, that you have lost touch with. You know, you've got that concept of loss with the five of chalices. Um, but looking at these cards here, I definitely feel like, I definitely feel some sort of scattered situation is coming up with the Five of Swords. I feel like someone might be getting involved in your relationship somehow, or they may communicate something that might ruffle a few feathers for yourself and for the person that you're connected to. Um, I feel like the sun is really going to illuminate that. You've got this beautiful looming moon, which can be a cancer. But look at that. You've got the sun and the moon coming together. So you do have a pow powerful partnership here. And I do feel that sort of um, rides the tails, the coattails of what I was saying before about life potentially changing as you know it. And I do feel like a significant relationship could be the catalyst of those life changing moments for you. Now, the magician strives to make things happen. I do feel like there's a sense of panic in some sort of relationship, either for you or someone you're dealing with. Um, now, the Six of Chalices can represent the past, so there might be someone coming back in from the past or wanting to rebuild something. They're going to come back fairly quickly, I think, Virgo, or it might be that you want you will be wanting to return to someone from your past. Could even be a past life connection. Um, Could it be someone you've been waiting for with the hangman or someone that sort of kept you in suspense? I do feel like there's defense. Um, someone's going to be really defensive in love. Now, it could be you, could be them. Um, they're defensive because they don't want to lose something. Five of chalices can be lost or letting go. Um, it's almost like a refusal to let something go um, or a hardship. Um, you know, anxiety, the moon energy, sc feeling very scattered to let something go. I think some of you have to come up with the, um, have to come up to that time period um, because you know it's the right thing to do. It's almost like you, you, you've gotten a message from the universe, maybe. You've shed light on the judgment card. You know that you need to make a major judgment call, Virgo. It's not going to be an easy one. And you won't necessarily know how to communicate. I mean, normally you're an absolutely fantastic communicator, but in this instance, this situation might definitely get you a little bit tongue-tied. And the Five of Swords, you can see these disoriented figures are all looking at each other. Um, some, some have their swords up, some have their swords down. You know, there's, 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 um, there's too much happening, I think. And it's distracting you. And some of you might want to remain single you know the the, the, the magician is a figure of solitude that the the hermit is a figure of solitude um some of you are definitely coming into single life um and i think there's something here that you have to deal with or learn from you might be healing from something and it might even be something that happened a very long time ago but these memories or these lessons are only coming up now so maybe you didn't heal from it properly the first time or, or as they happened or when they happened virgo See those loss of cups that sort of run into the water here, but you can see in the bushes, he still has the two cups. Twin flame energy coming up around you, Virgo, quite strongly. Or it could be that you're letting go of everything and everyone that isn't your twin flame because you are either ready 
or you know that this powerful connection is around you and you want to give that your all you want to open yourself up to that you know the judgment card is is and, and the children that figure in these cards this is vulnerability you know the child needs protection the child the child needs guidance the child needs uh, um, teaching etc so i mean some of you it's almost like you're letting a lot of things go out of your life for this one connection or this one person um and i feel like the sun coming up twice it can indicate you giving life again to a connection um yeah really marking that in a powerful way virgo um let's move on to your career and see what's coming up here but something's brewing with the magician that's for sure there's something that's being planned here um there's potentially strat strategy coming in maybe even a little bit of mind games Okay, the fall again, Aries, coming up around you quite strongly. You've got an ace, okay, and the lovers, beautiful. Okay, Aries and Gemini are coming up. New challenges, new beginnings. Um, partnerships and communication is coming up very strongly. Potentially a Gemini or you're attracting love, soulmate, twin flame energy through your career. So some of you might be meeting a very special person that's really going to help you move forward in your career or creative pursuits. It's almost like a destined meet here, a destined partnership. Um, now the Ace, there is a new opportunity for some of you and it can be coming from a fire sign. Um, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. The Ace of Wands um, is, is a time to take action. And you can see this, um, what looks like a tree stump or a, um, a stone of some kind here, um, almost like a, a totem pole. Um, and it's very grand, okay? It's very grand, it's, it's very big, it's, it's, it's a little bit intimidating here, but it's powerful. So I feel like there's, a, there's an opportunity for you to act on something in career or creative pursuits. Um, and I feel like the full, especially if you felt a little bit lost or that you've lacked direction or that you've grown complacent. And I say that because the fool is, is the pelican, the bird that's sort of settled. You know, it doesn't look like there's any other land around him. He's found the tree stump. He's found the buoy. Um, so he's sort of found something that's his saving grace. He's sort of found something that he's comfortable with, that he feels safe for the time being. And, and you know, sort of hope to ride things out. Um, maybe you sort of want to stay put for now and not take flight. Maybe you've got your eye on something new and maybe those those um, those steps can't be taken as yet. Um, but the Ten of Swords is here and I feel like there needs to be an ending to some sort of cycle. The swords symbolizing a circle here and this person sort of stabbed with these swords. In this instant, and you know, the bird has got this grip, has got this very strong grip of this person here. So... It could be that someone wants to hold you close for their purposes. And I mean, I would go so far as to say that this, this, you know, someone's got an agenda, okay? Someone wants to keep you close. Um, it might be that they're quite competitive. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign here. Although the Gemini has come up, there might be a bit of envy. Um, but it's almost someone having a tight leash on you. Um, almost like suffocating you or putting a lot of pressure on you and maybe that's where you feel at times you're a fool because you've sort of submitted um, to this person maybe because the fool can be gullibility and like I said you're shedding light on a lot of karmic things you're shedding light about a lot of things that could potentially be changing for you Virgo and I think some of you might make some sort of perhaps a little bit of a grim discovery that someone isn't being entirely honest, that in fact someone is doing more harm to you than good. Um, someone is actually being more defamatory than supportive. Um, someone's actually being more competitive than um, encouraging. So, and, and maybe that's what that Three of Swords is. And I think, because that can often be betrayal, I think that Three of Swords is more in career and working collaborative environments rather than love um or even could be jealousy in career but communication is key 
Um, there might be a lot of correspondence and communication coming up. I'm not surprised. You know, you have the King of Swords here, which is very analytical, very observant, very direct. Um, so it might come to a, t a point where you have to be very direct, Virgo. Um, and and, and this, this approach could get serious. Um, you know, the judgment card can be legalities, it can be disputes, it can be settlements. So for some of you, you might be faced with these sorts of extremities when it comes to career or money or disputes or this sort of situation and the way in which you handle it. And if it's not you, it's someone around you. So say, for example, it could be the, the, the manager of the company. Um, it could be the company that's facing these sorts of troubles as well. So uh, time will reveal this, I think, Virgo. But I will leave your reading at that. Thank you again for tuning in.